Welcome back to our ongoing history series where we share the stories of the interesting people, traditions, and buildings of Cape and Springs. For this episode, I'm be taking you to an isolated spot just off the White Cliff Trail. Those of you who hike this trail might guess where we are. We're at the tombstone of Little Jack. You see where we are in the background here? We have the Fairfax Building, the Hampshire Building. You can even see across the lawn the bandstand and some of the other grounds here at Cape and Springs. This will give you a visual about the location uh, where I'm standing right now. Now, people have asked us for many years, what is the story with Little Jack's grave? And the best that we can figure out from local legend is that Little Jack might have been the dog of the proprietors back in the early 1900s, Charles Nelson, his wife Laura, and their son Willie. One of the reasons we think this is because the inscription on the tombstone reads, a truer heart never beat, never came more willing feet, little Jack has gone to sleep. Good night. The date inscripted is July 1910. And the only other thing we know about 1910 is that was the year of the major flood, but that's a tale for another day. So here's the actual gravestone. You can see it appears to be a white marble of nature, very elegant stone for that time period. You can see the gathering of stones around it. Over the years, guests have brought and left their own stones in memory of Little Jack, whoever that may be. And we're curious to hear your stories uh, of Little Jack and maybe your theories about who Little Jack could be as it, the legend continues. <laughs>